Because I'm happy, clap along if you feel like happiness is your truth. Come on, get... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. So, um, sorry about that. I didn't know we were filming already. Hi, Karin Scassell here on behalf of Makers Mercantile in a totally happy mood. Why am I so happy? Especially because it's like 90 degrees out and I have no air conditioning in my classroom here. Don't worry, the shop is air conditioned, just the classroom is broken. But guess what? See this fantastic sweater? Ta -da 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 -da. I can't sing too much of the song, I suppose. I might get in trouble with copyrights. This sweater was knit, sorry, I've got the fan on so that I don't sweat to death. This sweater was knit for me and designed for me by our own Kyle Kuniki, and I feel so treasured that he did that. He knows I like big, wide sweaters. He knows I like a nice little tight sleeve. He knows the neckline that I like. I mean, this is the most gracious, wonderful gift I have ever gotten, so thank you, Kyle. But my gift is your gift too because kyle has decided that he is going to gift everybody who purchases the yarn for this sweater one of his patterns for free so what is the yarn well ironically the color is happiness which i mean is this like a phenomenal color and it is a power ball from yarn snob so if you're not familiar with yarn snob that is keith leonard he also has knits all done and he has been doing um dyeing on this beautiful merino and look i mean i'm wearing this merino right next to my skin without any problem although i am sweating a little bit because like i said it's 90 degrees out and all i have is a fan right here um but one of these one of these itsy bitty little hanks okay so it's a huge hank um it's 500 grams one of these hanks is going to make this sweater and if you want it bigger or wider although most people might even want it narrower um, you can make it bigger or wider and if you want to make longer sleeves you could make longer sleeves if you wanted it a few inches longer you could make it a few inches longer and you could still do it off of this one power ball because this sweater didn't take the whole power ball it still had like 400 grams 400 grams it had a lot of grams um, actually it couldn't be 400 grams it had like 400 yards left um, which is about a hundred grams so yeah if I had 400 grams left that would be a real real good deal anyways it had about 400 yards left so what are you getting you're getting the Powerball in the color happiness and and we truly are happy um, and if you purchase one of these we just got them in you are going to get this pattern for free and it is a one size fits many 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 so if you um, want to make it bigger smaller whatever you're going to be on your own for your uh, alterations but I think this size it looks good on everybody who we tried it on um, in our uh, shop here so it probably will look good on you too all right, moving right along. What else makes us happy? Okay, how about some really brightly colored yarns, rainbows? This is sort of like rainbowy, right? So let's go for some more rainbows. We have um, some swabbles. This is our swabble sock yarn, and we have some stragglers in some colors, three, these three colors in particular. Um, you can see what the yarn looks like. A swabble is basically a cake, and every 100 grams so this is 100 grams is going to have two swabbles and the reason being is because it is a sock yarn it's 80 percent merino or excuse me 80 percent wool i don't think it's merino and 20 percent nylon and so when you have two matching swabbles you can knit either two socks at the same time or you can just knit two socks and they're going to match so that is a pretty cool thing and these swabbles are 15 percent off till the end of the month if you want to make something bigger we have another 500 gram cake that's this one and this is um called lola so lola is a combination it's a 50 percent cotton and um 50 percent acrylic combo this has over 2,000 yards on it as well so you could easily crochet a couple of lost in time shawls if you want to do that 
um, it would make two of them. You can knit yourself a sweater. You can weave with it. It's phenomenal for weaving. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do with one of our Lola's. And the Lola's, um, we have a limited amount left as well. The Lola's are 20% off. Um, so you can see what we have available there. This color, oh, oh dear, I'm sorry. I made our, our lady naked. They're probably gonna kick us off of YouTube for indecency or something. Anyways, she's covered now. And um, this, uh, <laughs> this shawl here, like I said, um, is done, well, I, that's what I was telling you. I was gonna tell you the color. The color on this shawl, um, it is called, oh, I think it's called Rainbow in the Arctic. Okay, it's not written down, but it's called Rainbow in the Arctic. Let's just go for that. So there you go. That is that. And then there are more things, rainbow things. We've got rainbow fabrics. We've got this beautiful fabric that almost looks like rainbow stripes, but they're actually rulers, which is pretty cool. And then of course we have real rainbows um, on fabric. There you go. This one is great too. Those two fabrics, 20% off because we're happy. Okay. And then um, we have a couple of rainbow buttons that we're going to be giving you 20% uh, off on. There's that one. And the other one, you know, I don't know if you've ever been in our button room, but our button room, we have thousands of buttons and I couldn't find the one that we put in the newsletter. Um, but I found another one that's really cool looking. Uh, look at this. I mean, this is also um, a rainbowy type button. So this one's not 20% off, but it's pretty awesome. And um, all our buttons are online. You can find them all there. Uh, they're, they're pretty cool. And if you ever, you know, need a lot of buttons or let's say you're a button fanatic or something, you can always order one of our button catalogs. You can do that online as well. Or you can come in the shop. And if you come in the shop, we can give you one for free. All righty. So we have all these rainbow things. What do you find at the end of a rainbow? gold or so they say probably not true so but i did i found some gold at the end of the rainbow look what i found i found a phenomenal um wrist ruler in gold look at that i love this i mean it's it's fancy yet it's not too fancy it'll wrap around your wrist a few times has a little hole to connect it and so that way wherever you are when you need to do your measurement you've got it it's right there it's like oh got to take this off got to measure let's see what my gauge is you know and you should always check your gauge right so um anyways or if you're sewing and you need to mark things every half an inch or something anyways comes in very handy that is our goal at the end of the rainbow that's a whole nother song we won't get into that all right then we have a happy bag um I call this a happy bag because look at this fabric. It's it's really happy. It has all these animals on it. And actually it's not called the happy bag. It's called uh, take a walk on the wild side because it has all these wild animals from the Andes, wild animals and birds. You know, there's monkeys, there's some kind of an ant eater. There's, I think a cockatoo and, and a parakeet. And anyways, flowers, all different kinds of things, beautiful colors. The inside, it's totally reversible, has this beautiful magenta color. And then, oh, what's in here? Huh, it's another Hank from Yarn Snob, another Hank in the color happiness. There you go. So uh, happiness, remember that. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, enough of that. Sorry, I'm just in a happy mood today. Um, so there you go, that's our bag. And then of course, I wanna bring up a few more things. Remember we have the auction going on bid really well because 100% of the proceeds are going to be going to Mary's Place, um, which is a local charity here um, that uh, they house women and uh, women and children predominantly who are homeless. So they do a really great job. They feed them. They also find them permanent places to stay, uh, help them get jobs, all different kinds of things. So please do bid on our auction. There's a link down below so that you can go do there and you can Get yourself a really great hand knitted or crocheted piece. Um, and you don't have to do the knitting yourself. Huh, what do you got to lose? Okay, and then on Saturday we have two classes. Class number one is a um, color and texture class that is for weavers. That's being taught by Cynthia Gerald, and that is going to be 
on Zoom. So there is still room in that class if you're interested in learning some more um, patterns that you can do while weaving. And then for those of you who wanna visit us in our shop and actually come into an in-person class, we actually do have an in-person class going, um, happening on Saturday. Um, I think each time slot still had at least one space in it. We have three different time slots, they're listed below. And what you get is you're going to get one hank of yarn Oh, you probably want to know what the class is, don't you? Um, it's an introduction to um, vat dyeing and, um, or an indigo vat and also uh, resist dyeing. So which some people will, will think of as shibori um, dyeing. That might make more sense to you. Anyways, you will get one 100 gram hank of yarn that you get to dye and you're gonna have your choice of a how to dye it, you know, whether you wanna do just sort of sections or the whole thing and also also, whether you want a cotton or a cotton blend or a wool or a wool silk blend, we have lots of different ones to choose from. And then you're also going to get either a silk scarf or a silk pillowcase, whichever you prefer, where we will teach you some of the uh, simple resist dyeing techniques. And notice how everything is blowing in the wind because remember I said I had no air conditioning, so I have a fan blowing on me. Anyways, um, I suppose it's making my hair do uh, wacky things. Although in the movies, don't they always put the fan on and then they look real sexy or something? Um, I, what, what's the sexy look? It's like, <sighs> okay, never mind. I'm not good at that. I'm sure my husband's going to laugh when he sees this. Anyways, that's it. That's all for this week. Um, we will see you again next Thursday, Friday. We're going to see you on Friday. And uh, we'll have another newsletter for you. In the meantime, be happy. Ciao.